For the past four months, this trash transfer site at the SF Recycling and Disposal Company was the supply room for artists James Sansing and David Hevel. They spent countless hours digging through the garbage. And in the end, they collected 21,000 pounds of trash and transformed it into something very different. Artist James Sansing took apart machines and reassembled them, creating a mysterious, colorless world. David Hevel took a slightly different approach. Extravagant monkeys express his ideas of what consumer culture has come to. You know, basically, if we're buying it, it's getting thrown away. And I was really overwhelmed by that process, seeing people's lives thrown away, perfectly good things thrown away. The products that are being built today are not built to last. They, they're designed with a certain life kind of in mind with the manufacturer. In 2007, the United States accumulated more than 250 million tons of trash, but at least some of it was salvaged here. James Sansing says that at a recent exhibit of the two artists' work, his most popular piece was made of thrown-away photos. I can project stories into the things I find in the landfill, as, like people can project stories into these pieces that I've made. It was, for me, just about removing people. The weekend exhibit, hosted by the SF Recycling and Disposal Company, drew hundreds of people. While David Hevel says his work isn't political, it does have a message. I'm not making political work. Um, I'm more of an artist that holds up a mirror to society. So. My hope is that people walk away with, um, with an emotion that, that they remember and maybe possibly they'll think twice before they throw something away. For producer Mona Lisa Normohamadi, Brian Allen, VOA News.